Okay, everybody, I swear to Jesus Christ, last video of the night, I swear. Like, seriously, thank you, promise, swear, that this is the last video. Okay, this is my makeup story tag thingy my bobber. How, did, how old were you when you started wearing makeup? I was in seventh grade when I started wearing makeup. I guess you can count that because like seventh or eighth grade, I mean, it was like eyeliner and uh, like one color of eyeshadow. I mean, I guess you would count it. I would say high school is when I started wearing makeup, like makeup. But um, yeah, I dabbled, you know, dabbled a little bit. How did you get into makeup? Um, I got into makeup by, I, you know, always wanted to try it because how fun is it to put color on your eyeballs? <gasps> what? You could put color on your eyeballs? Because I always love putting color on my nails and wearing colorful things, but now I can put color on my eyeballs. <gasps> so yeah, I did that and then I started watching videos on YouTube and I was like, dude, you could do so much shit with makeup. Like, <gasps> you could do theater and you could do regular makeup like the neutral stuff and then you could do the out there kind of stuff and you could draw flowers on your eyeball and it just intrigued me what are some of your favorite brands i like urban decay i like makeup forever i like sephora they're okay mac eh, i mean i only buy like their brushes yeah i got like a foundation fix plus in black truck. That's it. So yeah, nah, I mean, I don't really go for the high end stuff because I can find just good stuff on eBay and on Coastal Sense and Elf and Urban Decay and all that. So psh, screw Mac. Um, what does makeup mean to you? Makeup means to me just expressing myself with color in a different way since I already express myself colorfully through my jewelry and my clothing and my nails so why not and it's retarded because my nails are clear now but I have to keep them clear for work because Hollister will not let you paint your nails but anyway off topic um, I already you know had been um, expressing myself through that so why not express myself again in something else which is I think like what my dad had to come to realize because he was like why do you wear all that crap on your face because it's fun dad i know i don't need to i want to it's fun um i'm sorry i'm trying to read this but I, after looking at this bright ass light in my eye and if you could only wear four products on your face what would they be I would wear some kind of eyeshadow. Oh wait, does prim does primer count as a product? Uh, okay, primer, some kind of eyeshadow, probably a palette, because that counts as one, because that's all one thing. So how I win? So a primer, a palette, um, eyeliner, and mascara. I don't really need anything on my lips. I mean, yeah. And what is your favorite thing about makeup? Everything about makeup is that it like there's so many colors out there. There's so many different things you can do with makeup. You can do like theater makeup where you make people look old and like change their whole appearance. Oh, sorry. You can uh I just heard my mom's room is right behind that wall, so I heard her going into the bathroom. So yeah, it was weird. <laughs> but um, you can do like theater makeup where you make people look old and all that. You can do makeup like this where you just, you just to wear. Um, you can do like the stage makeup, like the really stage makeup where like um, with the avant-garde makeup where it's all like f crazy flower things flying off your face. What do you think about drugstore makeup versus high-end makeup? Uh. I like drugstore makeup, but like, I don't know, like, I find, like, I think it's kind of weird, because I'm like, okay, this is drugstore makeup, 
it, like, I don't want to be spending $8 on lipstick. I know compared to like MAC and all that, that's good. But still, I don't want to pay $8 for a lipstick. Or even, like, I need to be paying like $3 for a lipstick. I don't understand why this stuff is like 8 and $9 and like $10. What kind of drugstore are you running? Like, I feel drugstore makeup needs to be like $3. And maybe five, but not. I'm not spending eight or nine dollars for a lipstick. What? No, I'm sorry. I don't care how creamy your texture is. Huh? Is it? Like Mega Forever. I was about to buy their purple one. Not for nineteen dollars. What could there possibly be? Unless that lipstick gives me superpowers. I'm not buying, paying nineteen dollars for it. It better give me superpowers and a shitload of money. Yeah. I'm trying to find my spot. What is one tip or uh one tip of advice you can give to a beginner? Um, one tip of advice I can give to a beginner is definitely get a primer. Um primers will be your best friend because it really doesn't like it doesn't matter what makeup you use, even if you're using MAC or if you're using something from the drugstore or, or elf. If you don't have a good primer on, it's not going to last throughout the day. It's, I mean, it doesn't even matter if you're using like the little sponge applicators. If you don't have a primer on, any kind of primer, I don't care whether it's like a paint pot from MAC or Urban Decay Primer Potion or NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencils, anything. It You need to have like a base or else that stuff is not going to stay. You're going to have shitty makeup by the time you go home from school. You ain't going to have like all your eyeshadow going to be gone. Trust me, I did it. Like when I started, I never had a primer until I watched YouTube videos. I was like, oh my god, there's such things as primers for your eyes? Dude, who didn't know? Like I didn't know. So yeah, definitely have a primer because like seriously, Urban Decay Primer Potion, I could sleep in this and still wake up with this shit on my face. I've done it. Not something I'm proud to admit, but I've done it. I got caught in the rain with makeup on and came to back to my house and it was still there. Nothing had run off. That's how awesome primer is. <laughs> and no, 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 no. What is one makeup trend you never understood? <sighs> uh, let me see. Drawing in your eyebrows, like you know, I, I, you know dark in mind but like literally like drawing them in to where they look like you took a crayon and took a stencil and drew no no I'm sorry sweetie that's not cute you don't look cute you look very very plastic and like fake yeah I'm sorry you look very fake not cute and last question what do you think about the beauty community on YouTube? I think it's really cool. Um, I think it's cool that there are like older people that do it. I say that they're old, but they're older, you know. Um, that do makeup and then there are younger people. I just realized, I don't know why I never thought of this. There are young girls that do makeup too, like. And it's great because, you know, it's like makeup for young girls. You know, they, like for me, it's funny watching it. I'm like, oh my God, that's so simple. Like, I, there's like nothing on your eye. I could never do that now because I'm like infatuated with color but like it's perfect for little girl like younger girls like 10 and 12 year olds and whatever because they don't need to be no 10 year old needs to be walking around with this I, no I hit my 10 year old cousin if she walked around with this I don't even have a 10 year old cousin but yeah I'd hit her so yeah um I think it's really good that they have like a broad range of people ranging you know, from like 20 and up to like you know 10 10 to 20 yeah, so I think that's really cool. Um, it allows for people to of all ages and backgrounds and races to find something on here to watch. Um, so yeah, that's my tag. And not too bad. Eight minutes, I think. Nine minutes, whatever. So yeah, I want to see other people's tags and stuff. But um, yep, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, I'm going to bed. I'm wiping this shit off my face. I don't really feel like it, but I know if I sleep in it, I'm going to look ugly in the morning. So, yeah. Talk to you guys later.